just wait till your father gets home. Some of you, like me, may have heard this as a child. The methods we use to discipline children and the roles that each partner will play are among the many challenges facing new parents. Keeping our communities safe and orderly requires rules that the community agrees to recognize and that can be reasonably enforced. But how do we respond to offenders? And who gets to decide? Paul's instructions to the Galatians calls for a restorative justice. And Paul asks that those who have received the Spirit should be the ones to carry out this justice. Since, after all, this type of discipline must be administered gently. And how could one be certain that a person truly has received the Spirit, except by the evidence of the fruits of the Spirit, of which gentleness is one? Paul lived with the punitive justice system of the empire. He probably understood the status of being a model citizen, as well as the shame of being the transgressor. Paul may have recognized the temptation of the flesh, of the rationalizing mind, to elevate its own status by comparison to transgressors, those who are stripped of all status. Whatever Paul thought of the punitive justice system, he would have none of this comparing and stripping of status in the life of the new community in Christ. Paul cautions them against thinking highly of themselves by denigrating others, and instead to restore transgressors by helping bear their burden. In this, he says, you are fulfilling the anointing that you have received. For the Galatians, righteousness would not be granted because one was a better person than the lawbreaker. No one's life is to be measured by any other life but their own. And those who live by the Spirit still fulfill the anointing of Christ by sharing in the burdens of the least among us.